The following content is not meant for children. Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alix, and this is The Outer Worlds. We are right back where we left off here, outside this small little townlet, and I have just gotten a flamethrower. <laughs> I'm very excited, and the world should be very terrified. Leaded armor. Nope. Okay. Yeah, no, we're heading that way. Right, right. More scary monster lizards on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flamethrower. Don't care. Hey, buddy. How you doing? P pretty good, huh? Yeah, here he comes. Come on. Come right up close to me. You'll love it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we just burn it away. That's the last of them. Yeah. Okay, this is too fun. Um, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna just tone that down a little. No, no, not the plasma gun. This, this, yes. To the face. Ooh, someone blew up a. Oh, exploding barrels, nice, thanks. There we go. Oh, one behind us. Didn't see you there, buddy. There you go. There you go. Hold, hold down. I don't really want wrapped it on meat, thanks. We had a lot of that back on the other planet. Oh, what, what do you have? No, nope, more more meat I don't want. Any uh, looting chests? Things for me? Maybe. We were in that building last time. Okay. Welcome to Stellar Bay. Oh, going in. Okay. Now let me just remind myself what we're up to. Bolt. Return the bolt to... St okay, yeah. We have like five or six things to do in Stellar Bay. And that's fine. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Yeah. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. And that's what we're we going to really do. We never really had new folks in Edgewater. Except the captain. Kind of hard to make new friends when everyone's already decided they don't like you. Oof. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. All right, let's go. Okay. So let's go talk to Sanjar and a whole bunch of other people. Hello? I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh no, what's up? Are you all right? No, I just stepped in a dead man's blood and I think one of the flies landed on my mouth. If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. Don't contemplate. Do. All right. Uh, well, let's go do the cert the things that are certain first before we start doing things we are uncertain. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. A fine day for business, isn't it? Anyway, what can I do for you? Ah, uh, let's see. I thought, let's see. I have to go. Before I do something silly, I think it was Cecilia who wanted those. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? Oh, yes. Uh, not yet. Cool your jets. So, I thought it was someone else. Okay. A fine day for business, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Anyway, what can I do for you? Well, I found your review in the terminal in the arms building. You weren't supposed to look. I asked you to delete it. Sorry, it was already open. Oh, yes. No doubt someone else was having a laugh at my expense before you. 
This has been my albatross. The great shame of my career. I give MSI everything. My work, my youth, my left kidney, and for years, I was a joke to them. Your left kidney? Oh, one of the executives required a transplant. He's lucky they didn't want a liver or a heart. I thought volunteering to donate might improve my prospects. Did it? Apparently not. Well, who cares what they think? You're in charge now. In charge of a scrap heap of a city. Abandoned by the board and surviving only through the hypocrisy of our trading partners. Well, you've made it work, and that's more than anyone can say about those ex execs. I hadn't thought of it that way. But perhaps there's something to that. Thank you for that. Or was there something else? Yeah, uh, here's your Bolt 52. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. And how exactly is this data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Finally, the board will get their comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. Thank you. I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch, illegally and in secret. Really? Most of the time they do illegal stuff out in the open. Cheaper that way. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Makes sense, you sly dog. You really think so? Don't encourage him. I admit I'd been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. All right. Sounds like you know her well enough, or I know how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Close enough. Once you, uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap the staff. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Meh. All right, I'll go. All right. So I got a helmet, I think. MSI Elite Helmet, 29. Ooh, that is nice. Huh. Yeah, we got that sublight contractor, which is pretty. Retrofitted heavy power. 46, 16. Uh, let's see if we can do something fun with uh, Pavardi. 43. Oh, oh, that is actually quite lovely on you. It's not, uh, not nearly as defensive. Heavy weapon and stealth. Eh. But we'll keep this for you. We'll, uh, get that helmet to Ellie then. Heavy ranged weapon spread minus 10%. Well, we don't really do... You know what? Felix. That will be Felix. You can keep this. All right. Oh, this this is the wrong room. Alrighty, so what's next? Uh, 
Groundbreaker. We'll worry about that later. Scylla. Ah! Sebastian. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy-feely type. It's just... You seem fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Okay. Hey, Sebastian. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? Um... Let's talk about Celia. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days. But I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. Would you consider going on a date with her? Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smite at her. Smoot? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit on account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. Uh, let's see. She doesn't want a discount. She's attracted to you. Don't take my word for it. Spend some time with her. I promise she won't ask for a discount. Yeah, there you go. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go someplace nice. Maybe to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. I want them to be happy, too. So let's talk to Miss Celia, because she's right there. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? He said he'll go on a date with you. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Uh, he likes you, Celia. Just don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do, and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back-to-work look. Anyhow, thank you. Thank you. Have yourself a wonderful day. All right, now what's next? All right. No, no. There we are. Agnes Needham, over there. Hello. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound. Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Uh, your son is a grown man. It's time you start treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. But that's between us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are going to have a long talk. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuck Tuck home safe again. Good luck to the both of you. Nice. No, no, map first, journal first. Errors unseen. Catherine, okay. Speak speak with Vilma at the warehouse. Okay, we can do that. Sounds suspiciously like a plan, and I love plans. Oh, nope, not that way. 
Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, there, there we go. Hello, Velma. How are you? I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. I'm here to ask about Grimm's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grimm his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? All right, um... You're just giving his poster away? Didn't he pay for it? No. I paid Sublight for it. So, it's mine. And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grim may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Good point. Surely we can work something out. Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. Help me out here. I found Braxton, didn't I? Fair enough. The damn thing's been a headache anyway. Take the poster then. And if I never hear another word about it, it'll be too soon. Something else on your mind? Nope. Have a nice day. So now we'll just go take this to Grim. Who doesn't appear to be all that far away. Just a matter of finding out how to get to him. There we go. There he is. Hey, Grim. Have you had time to check on that poster yet? I keep wondering if it's come in. Oh. Uh, yeah, here it is. Would you look at that? The Rizzo's logo is nice and bright, and you can still smell the ink on Mr. Holcomb's signature. I can't thank you enough. Still, you can have the bits I was going to spend at the bar this week. And you know what? Take my old toss ball blocker, too. Never get the chance to use it these days. Thanks. All right. What else do we have to do in town? Okay, there's the, those are the pills. Caffeine or something. Weapons from the void. Scylla. Groundbreaker. Follow up with Catherine. Okay, we can do that. Did I have any botched? No botched. All right. And a pro toss ball blocker. Lovely. All right. We will. This way. Heading out. But before we head out, I'm going to say this looks like a great time for me to take a break. So here's where I'll say thank you all for joining me. I really hope you're enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. If you do... Uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Looks like uh, YouTube is telling me that more people who are not subscribed watch this than who are subscribed. So if you like it, please subscribe, and that'll help assure that I keep making more. Otherwise, uh, thank you all for joining me, and I shall see you all next time.